Hey, what's up? This is Dalton and Cloud. This week we're going to be going over and going jumping ship into the virtual machine realm again. Uh, so this time we're not going over a lab. We're actually going to VMware and their certification route. Uh, so this particular certification, we're going to be sticking to the theme we've been sticking to, associate and uh, fundamental level certifications. So this is going to be VMware's uh, associate level equivalent for their data center virtualization pathway. Um, we're going to go a little bit more into overall what goes on in the VMware sphere, but um, we're not going to be going over all the resources. Uh, just primarily hitting the associate level on the head. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this week's video. Okay, so over here uh, on the side, uh, we have VMware Certified Professional for Data Center Virtualization. Uh, we will be going over this uh, certification resources later on at a later date. I just wanted to hit bring this up real quick, uh, show you for the for this particular certification, there are prerequisites. You are supposed to have either a previous year version of the certification, um, or you're supposed to have uh, a different. Uh, professional level certification uh, like in their networking route uh, that that's going to be relevant later on but uh, I just wanted to bring that up uh, or you had to test uh, do uh, complete a certain amount of training which would be required uh, which as we know vendor specific training is always more expensive than we like so uh, that's why I just wanted to, you know, mention, hey, you know, we can go to the professional route of a different um, way of accessing this. Um, but we'll come back to that later. So first off, we're going to go into uh, VMware's learning certification tracks. So they have the data center virtualization track. This is most common for when utilizing VMware. Um, it's not the only track they have. This is just their primary one and the one you'll see the most uh, job openings for. And that's the thing we want to do is get you guys, um, get you guys and girls jobs out there in the field. Um, so as we see, it used to be VCA uh, DCV. Um, that was uh, last year. Uh, and there was prerequisites before uh, taking this. However, they have removed that. It's now just recommended courses, so you can use your own training material. Uh, we do have some training material you could see over here that we'll be going into. Uh, shockingly enough, it's not going to be a Cloud Guru or uh, IT Pro CV. They didn't really have any associate level certification uh, material for the this pathway. They did have some professional material. But as I said, they're not going to be mentioned as much because uh, <laughs> they didn't have the material we needed, uh, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> okay, so going on to their other pathways, they have uh, VMware uh, Certified Cloud Management and Automation. Um, this is going a little bit more into like the development side as well as the cloud side. Uh, they have the security track. Their security track is actually pretty small. Um, we, we have been going over a lot of sort of security certifications, so this might be something you may want to get into. Um, they don't have a lot of, uh, competition here. Network, uh, virtualization track. We are going to be hitting this, uh, point here so shortly. Uh, but, uh, this is a pretty intensive track, uh, going into associate level, professional, advanced professional, and then kind of like their architect or engineer level. Um, as well as the digital workspace track. So this is going to be for uh, your end users. If you're managing like a company's end user workspace type of environment, this is kind of the path you'd want to go into. So if you're like trying to be like a certain sort of specialized administrator, uh, certified in uh, uh, virtual machine uh, and VMware environment, that this might be something you may want to look into. Um, and again, associate level, professional level, advanced professional, and like the architect or engineer level. Uh, and then they have the application 
uh, modernization track, which is a little bit shorter. Uh, but th these are basically the tracks that you could uh, look into. I'll put the link here in the video. Um, we're going to be talking about the uh, VMware Associate Level uh, Data Center Virtualization Certification. So we have seven sections for this exam. Uh, it's going to be like any other fundamental um, exam that you would take, really just scratching the surface. You're going to go into architecture technologies, product and solutions, planning and designing, installing, configuring and setup, performance, tuning, optimization, troubleshooting and repairing, and administration and operational tasks. Um, and then it kind of just goes into like the different objectives for each section, uh, how to phys identify how physical resources are presented to multiple virtual machines, identify examples of type one and type two hypervisors, uh, identify vSphere virtual networking components and types. Um, this, the section one is going to be the most intensive. Uh, it's going to have the most uh, material you want to go over. Um, as well as uh, Section 7, where we go over administration operational tasks. Um, there's a lot of references in this. I'm going to put this in there as well, just because there's a lot of references. It goes in depth. So whenever you're uh, creating your Kanban or you're creating your uh, personal uh, journal for your study path for your certification, uh, that you could kind of just copy and paste the uh, different objectives that you want to understand uh, when you're going through and studying. So, as I said, we'll, we're going to circle back to this, uh, the professional uh, networking certification. So, we're going to go here. So, as I said, it changed from uh, VCA to VCTA. Uh, I guess they wanted to be different. So, and unlike uh, MTA, they're like, ah, oh, well, we could be, they want to throw a technical associate in there. So <laughs> VMware Certified Technical Associate. Uh, this is this was a recent change as far as I'm aware uh, in 2021 with their newest exam. And as I said, this used to be a requirement for training um, prior. And I think it was like two classes or you could go through their IT Academy, which we're going to go over next. Uh, but that, that's recently changed. It's now just a recommendation. Um, so that, that's kind of an improvement. Uh, they do have uh, training available. Uh, they have some through something called IT Academy. Uh, it's kind of like their online training uh, resource area. You could register today, join their live events. Um, it's something you can do. Uh, I've never really had too much success with uh, these sort of uh, impromptu trainings, but it's something, it's an option you do have. It's a resource. So this resource will also be listed in the video description. Um, and then we're going to go into a, a vendor I don't normally talk about, which is CBT Nuggets. Uh, so I have used CBT Nuggets before. Uh, I just want to say I love all of their instructors. Uh, at least on their networking side and security side. I love all their instructors. Keep, Keith Barker is amazing. They used to have uh, Chuck Keith. Uh, he, he, he since has left them. Uh, but they, they have a lot of great material for their CCNA. Uh, they had Jeremy, Siora, Knox Hutchinson. Uh, they have amazing instructors here. Uh, if you're going for your any of your CompTIA exams, you're going for your CCNA, your DevNet Associate, uh, any any of these exams, if you're going for any of these, uh, I, I highly recommend them. I, I, I honestly can't recommend them enough. Uh, but yeah, oh, they even have some GC, GNCIA Juno, so that'd be good. Juno's level, Associate level exam. Uh, underappreciated. Um, and then they have the LFCS. Uh, I know we've had some people talk about the Linux Foundation certified sysadmin, uh, and, uh, their fundamental exams as well. So, 
Uh, this is definitely a great resource. Uh, it's a little expensive. That's why I don't recommend them as much. Uh, but I, I honestly, uh, I do appreciate their content. This particular exam, you can kind of tell how we're just scratching the surface because this particular exam is only two hours of training material. So it's not going to be too in depth, uh, of a training. So take that with how you will but um just 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 so you're aware uh or if you're someone who prefers studying another method the other recommended uh study material is actually going to be the uh book uh it's going to be by robert schmidt um it's going to be the vca dcv uh study v uh vsphere study guide so this is the first edition. So uh, this, I don't believe, has been updated for 2021. But the uh, from from reviewing the previous uh, study material to the newer one, it really hasn't changed that much. Uh, you get two uh, custom practice tests. You get over 100 uh, electronic flashcards. So if you pair this with uh, Keith Barker's course, you're you're gonna do fantastic on this exam. Uh, it's not gonna go too in depth, but if that's not enough and you are more of a hands-on learner, you could also head to VMware. They have uh, where you could try VMware for free with some hands-on labs, and they have some labs over here you could try. Uh, so this is definitely something you may want to uh, dig into and give a shot. Uh, but yeah. So uh, as I said, we're gonna kind of backtrack here a little bit. Uh, so if you just wanna know about taking the exam, uh, this is where you could end the video. Hey, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Uh, but if you're a little bit more interested in what VMware has to offer, stick around. Um, so as I said, uh, you know, you your eventual goal uh, is going to be going to the uh, VMware, uh, basically VCP uh, DCV. So you want to be a data central virtualization professional. That That's your eventual goal. That's what's going to make you more money. But to get that, it's going to be a little bit more difficult uh, if you don't have a previous VCP certification. So that's why uh, if you are someone who's coming from the networking field, you could kind of bypass this uh, for going for the VCP NV uh, certification. You can you it's going to you're, you're going to have required training as well, unless you have a Cisco certification. So if you have a Cisco certification, you will have to show proof. It has to be active or non-expired, a CCNA, CCNP, or CCIE certification. However, if you do have your active uh, Cisco certification, that you can kind of bypass having to take the training or their training, and then you could go ahead. Uh, you can still study for this. There's still going to be uh, some uh, training material out there, and if you are interested in that, just let me know, and I can definitely make a video outlining the available resources and study guides for that. But uh, with this certification, you can go back and take the data cen uh, center virtualization uh, course um, without having uh, required uh, training courses. It then shows that it's recommended, uh, but we have uh, much cheaper options out there uh, on different uh, websites like CBT Nuggets, as well as IT Pro TV and A Cloud Guru. We know they're out there. Uh, you just have to look hard enough and you could get a budget on your training. Because uh, why do you want to pay that much in training when you're going to pay four or $500 for an exam? But uh, so that's kind of uh, going in depth into the VMware sphere uh, and their certification pathways and the different material that we could use for these exams. Again, uh, this has been an associate level uh, 
data center virtualization uh, study material that we went over today. I'm going to have that material listed in the video below. Uh, and I will also have those resources from VMware themselves uh, outlining their certification tracks and uh, the prep guide for this exam. Uh, if this helped you uh, obtain this exam, great. Please let me know. Uh, and I would, I would love that feedback. The more people we get certified, the more people we could get out in the field and get in these, the roles and jobs that they want and the happier they are because they feel like they could uh, provide more for their families. Um, so thank you again for watching and I will see you next time.